I was called to diagnose this vehicle. You can see the whole red thing is on. And I've made a mistake on this vehicle when it comes to the when it came to the shop. You cannot accelerate the vehicle. I've made a mistake on it by so this Audi SLM type, then this CVKB. So the mistake that I made. Okay. The mistake that I made was I used the Tinker to update the system. Not knowing it was having an immobilizer issue. Um, it was an emo of ECU. So when I did the update now the car can't start again. So I want to do the diagnosing first, then after that I'll give it to I'll do the I'll give it to one of my guys to do the emo off for me so that I can start the vehicle but for now I'm chasing after the electrical issue that came with the vehicle because of that you can't accelerate the vehicle when you start it and you can see that this whole the RPM light is on which means the engine is limited so you can't accelerate it so now I'm done scanning so let me go let me check my reports so I was trying to update it because it has this fault code which is control module version so this is my main problem which is the reference voltage A sensor reference voltage A and this is the reason why I did the update and now the car can start and it's giving me ECU disabled so I'll speak to my friend to do the to do the um, emo off so that we can start the vehicle but we have another control unit that can start it but because there is a hose that has been disconnected so when i start it the coolant will start leaking so for now i have to check those fault code the table and the sensor voltage reference that's the main issue and you can see the rpm also so what i'll do is let me okay so now what i'll do is let me bring the control board that can start this vehicle the other emo of control board and see the fault code on it and compare it with this one then i know that i'm chasing after the sensor reference voltage so because this control board is disabled that one it will be sorted out later and the coding version that's the main problem too but for now the sensor reference voltage is my main target so let me use the other control board and let's see if you are going to get similar sensor reference voltage and other fault code in the system so now i'll replace the control unit this is the one which is having the disabled thing in it and this one is not having it so this one can run the vehicle so i'll fix this one i'll fix this one and i'll scan and see the the fault code that i'll be getting in they see if it will match with this then i'll know what to do from here so now i've fitted the or the board that came with the vehicle and i've done the bypass for the coolant hose which was broken so I will try and start the vehicle or turn on the key. This one, anytime you turn on the key, it automatically starts. This board, anytime you turn the key, it automatically starts. So then I'll come in, check the fourth code in it. With this control board, anytime I try to, without my leg being on the, it starts. And you can see it is limited. You can see I'm stepping on the accelerator, but it is not working. Okay, so now it is off and let me scan it and check for my fourth code. So this fourth code, I have to erase them, go back and erase all the fourth code. Then start it and rescan the vehicle again and see the fourth code. This control unit doesn't have the coding issue the coding version issue so 
let me raise all the fourth code and rescan the vehicle or because i'm dealing with the control unit i'll go into the control unit and see the remaining fourth code so if i recycle the ignition the vehicle will start so these are the fourth code that return the charge air actuator mechanical failure then lost communication with engine coolant bypass then open circuit and sensor reference voltage so now what i'll do is um, when you recycle the ignition the car will start and you can't turn it off and just turn on the you see it starts and you can see how bad the vehicle is running so i'm hoping it shuts down by itself then let me read the fourth code again and see the fourth code that i'll be getting it's running really 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 bad it's running really really bad and it can be small for so let me reread it again and see if i can have any issue with it feels like some of the cylinders are not working So you just and it starts again. And it's filling really with fire. So now let me check why my machine is not communicating. And let me check if there is no engine. And you can see how it's trying. It's trying to really, really bad. It's trying really, really bad. Oh, okay. I can see why it's behaving that way. So, the throttle and everything. But now I have to check it and see the actual problem. So now, what I'll do is I'll go back and check again. And now I have other fault code. So, lost communication with accelerator paddle. Loss communication with engine coolant, table charge boost, control A, malfunction, and throttle circuit, throttle switch, position sensor, position sensor. So, what I'll do is, um, then no signal, ignition or distribution, engine speed, no signal. So, what I'll do is because of the sensor reference voltage, let me check this um, loss communication with the throttle. Let me check the throttle first because both switch, both the position sensor A and B are low. One is low input and one is so. Let me check. And when you check, let me check the wiring diagram and see why both two sensors are reporting then maybe i can do other things also so let me bring up my multimeter and other things to check the voltages on the position sensors ground voltage and signal line and see the actual problem or tool multimeter i will set it to the multimeter function and then let me test my voltage first so come here and test this battery voltage before i start any measurement to make sure my so you can see the battery voltage that i'm getting here so that tells me that there is the battery voltage on the vehicle i think i have to bring my So now what I'll do is um, I'll measure the voltage on this line. The battery voltage is running down, so let me bring the maintainer. So now before I even bring the maintainer, 
you have to measure the voltage on the throttle so this is the position of the throttle and for my wiring diagram it tells me that um, the violet and green is the 5 volt reference and this brown uh, this black and red is the ground sensor for the throttle body so what i'll do is i have to measure 5 volt on one and ground on the other so before that i will try and see if i'll get 5 volts on it so let me plug in my test lead and you can see i'm getting zero volts on the two on position two and and also let me try this ground which is on the sensor ground which is you can see i'm still getting that ground so let me change my ground side to battery positive and i should get battery voltage and you can see i'm getting battery voltage let me test on the pin two also and see if i'll get battery voltage yeah i'm getting battery voltage on that one also we supposed not to be that so that's the five volt reference that i have to get on the sensor ground so this is the five volt reference and uh, now it's giving me a ground that's why it's telling me it's having that circuit sensor reference voltage a so for my wiring diagram the sensor reference voltage a is on this so now what i'll do is i have two things you see that i provide a uh, five volt to it to re-energize its system because these cars are designed such a way that whenever there is shot in the in one of the five volt reference what it does is it shuts the vehicle down like i say shut the vehicle down it shut that reference voltage down so let's say reference voltage a is having shot to ground it will shut it down but the moment you energize it or you reset the system and the shot is out the 5 volt reference comes up again so what i'll do is i'll try and energize it with a 5 volt reference with a 5 volt then i'll recycle the ignition and see if it is energized again then i'll see what to do from there and also it was reporting about the table position sensor so what i would like to do is um take the socket out and also test if i'll get all five volts but apart from this when i test for any other voltage i should get five volt signal i'm not getting any five volts okay so all is pulled down circuit so i have to energize the system but before that i have to check for the throttle also um, the table position sensor also so so the five volt reference on pin two is not back but the ones on the other one are supposed to be back because now so you can see i'm measuring some voltages now on the table sensor so now on the table sensor i'm getting five volt reference which is this so i have to test if it is a five volt reference or just a normal volt. now after several after recy uh, after recycling the ignition now my five volt reference is back so you can see now my five volt reference is back on it so you can see i'm getting five volt reference on this so now i'll go and erase all the fourth code scan the vehicle and try and erase all the fourth code and see if i'll so now the five volt reference is back after kicking it with the two volt reference from the test light so now the five volt reference is back and what i'll do is i have to I have to plug it back, but before I plug it back, I have to erase the port code and see. So let me do that. Because the 5 volt is restored, you can see passive and sp uh, spondic. 
so you can see that all is passive that means all of them are history fault code now so the active one is only the engine coolant bypass and the table which i've disconnected and the full wheel and i've disconnected the two sensors also so now you can see all of them are passive so let me erase as the vehicle is running so after raising now you can see i'm not having any issue with my sensor reference voltage this one i've disconnected it that's why i'm still having this fault code so let's go and check the 5 volt reference if it is still alive let me turn on my machine and if, let me measure the 5 volt reference and you can see that my 5 volt reference is still alive so that means the reference voltage has been restored successfully so what i'll do i'll shut the engine off then plug in the sensor back then check it again so now the, with that side i'm sorted what i've done is i've plugged back the sensor and you can see i'm still having the four volt which is almost up to five volt so i'll go into the vehicle and rescan the system you then see the fourth code i'll be getting so now let me start the vehicle and you can see now the vehicle is running smoothly my five volt remember my five volt reference is restored back and because the throttle has been plugged that's why you can see now everything is gone so now let me reread the fourth code again and most of them the rest are history 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 so let me raise and see the table sensor have disconnected it so now there is no fault code in the system so that means that issue is from the 5 volt reference that got lost so now you can see i'm able to accelerate the vehicle so now what i'll do is let me read it again and i'm having the table because i've taken it out and let me check this one the performance also so i'll do all those checks so let me shut the car off and restart it again so let me go and measure my let me check my 5 volt reference also and see the measurement so you can see i'm still having my 5 volt reference for the sensor so now what i'll do is uh, i'll plug back this table sensor that i've taken out i'll plug it back then I'll run the vehicle for a while now that I'm having my 5 volt reference and see what will cause the 5 volt reference to go down again. So I'll run it a while. You can see now it is running, and the reason why I'm having mass sensor is because of this. You can see the throttle hose is out, so I'll fix that one. Then I'll plug in the table, then I'll let it run for a while. So, what I'll do is I will let it run for a while, then I'll be monitoring that 5 volt reference and see if I'll have any issue with it. Um, after running it for a while, I'm only getting the coolant bypass issue, which I'm going to check why it's telling me coolant bypass valve a loss communication. So you can see when I rev, I get the boost. Yeah, so now I've fixed the table hose and let me check my 5 volt reference. If it is still on, if the moment the 5 volt reference go off, all this will turn into red. So that means I'm good to go. Okay. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. So I'll speak with my with the client and let's see what we can do about it if the actual thing which is causing the 5 volt reference so we are having also this fourth code which is full low pressure this car is having eight injectors it has four direct injectors and four port injectors so the full pressure low sensor that you are seeing is for the port injectors so we we'll place that one also you will make a request on that one also. Then the throttle. So now I'll be monitoring that 5 volt reference and see if it will go off. So you can see the moment I energize it with 
my test light on battery positive. The 5 volt reference came back and now the vehicle is running successful. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.